viewers your warm small welcome to your favorite show Shanti's Haven. I hope you've been enjoying our episode so far and learning something from it. Like I said before, we are all parents and we are all learning, we are all guardians, we are all learning, there's no person who knows it all. Please, if you enjoy any show, if you enjoy any episode, just like, click on the like button, share to your friends so that they can also learn from what you're learning and enjoying. Today on Shantia's Haven, we have another very interesting topic and this topic will be treated with someone very special who is here with us. We have here with us Mrs. Tabby Pascal. Hello Pascal. Hello. You're welcome to Shantia's Haven. Thank you very much. It's an honor to have you here. It's From your tight schedule, you could make it on Shantia's Haven today. We are so excited because of the topic that we are about to discuss. Do you know that one can never escape from hurts and pain in this world? Yes, because we in this world we are very different human beings. Yes. We have our different backgrounds. That's true. We have our different challenges and our different ways of handling our challenges. So that's very true. You, you've used the word different, different a lot in what you're saying, and that, that is what really makes us go through these hurts different 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 we're different in our cultures different in the way we handle our challenges and all of that dear viewers that takes us to our topic for today today we are going to be talking about this topic how we as parents as guardians should manage our hurts our low moments so that it doesn't spill over to the children we'll be right back thank you You know, Pascal, uh, they used to say that when two elephants are fighting, it's the grass that suffers. Taking it to the family setting, most of the times when the parents are fighting or when the parents are hurting or when one parent is going through a low moment, I see in some homes the children suffer. So I'm wondering, what can these, what can these parents do to actually help? help in a situation in, in a way that the children will not really suffer when they are fighting because it affects the children negatively exactly uh, I think the first thing that they want they, they need to do yes. is firstly they need to understand that their action be it positive or negative affect their children okay and they will give a mentality to their children okay in the future you will give even a personality yeah. to their children in the future so when they have that understanding they will mind their words they will mind their actions and uh, they generally they say hurting people hurt others mm -hmm. so it's very important that they try to manage their hurt and heal from their hurt individually without involving their children without involving their children. Now, in a case where two parents have misunderstandings, yes. they need to be careful because they, they, they should not, first of all, involve the children in their fights. Okay. And secondly, in even if the children are already of a certain age, because I don't think that we are just talking about little one, even if their children are already uh, in in an a, in an age that they can understand things, yes. they should mind the way they report the spouse to the other because it will create either hurt, it will create either uh, a distance okay. between the children and their parents. So as much as they can, they should not involve the children, no matter their fine. age. They should not involve okay. the children in their You've fight. talked about the older children, how to involve them in your fights. Like, I shouldn't report to my spouse to my child in a negative way. So, what about these very little ones? How, how, how do we involve them? Because sometimes it may be unconsciously. So, how do you think they involve the children in the fights? Is it like the fight in front of the children, the quarrel in front of them? Or what do they really do? Yes, they at times they, they quarrel in front of the children okay. at times they show the children that they don't talk to one another like maybe the mother does not talk to the father and she will be sending the child go and ask your father go and tell your father and the children 
don't really see them Oh, and that's true. Children who are used to seeing their parents communicate in a certain way, they start yes. picking out, picking some things like, oh, yes. there's a problem here. Exactly. Wow. Especially now in our generation where our children are very smart, we, we need to really be careful how we, we, how we manage this aspect of, of uh, fights when they are concerned. What about a single parent where it's not like they're fighting with two people? You're alone, you're a single parent. What, what kind of way, what ways do you, do you spill over your hurts to your children? What kind of hurts do they go through because they don't fight with anybody? Financial okay. hurts. Okay. okay, okay. As everything is on me, you know, everything is on me alone. I send you to school, I feed you. And, and if uh, the child comes back from school with bad results, yeah. you know, and the, 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 the parent will feel hurt because they will look at their efforts, they will look at all what they, they do mm. and they, they are not receiving the result that they expected. Mm. So those kind of things can, 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 can bring hurt. And just the fact that maybe they don't have somebody beside them yes. with whom they can discuss, they can share their pressures. So they, 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 they find them, they, themselves tied in, in that place where I'm pressured and I have a responsibility. Okay. I have my own pressure at work, I have my own pressure, maybe my business is not moving and I don't have anybody with whom in the house with whom I can talk about it, but I still have a responsibility. I need to be a father or I need to be a mother to this child. Okay. In that aspect where there is this hurt, I'm hurting and I meet my child or I have to come home to my child or my child has brought this result and I'm really I'm really broken inside. Mm -hmm. Some people, they're all their own way is that when it touches the heart, it touches the eyes. When my heart is broken, I just cry. Mm -hmm. Other people, when they are like that, they get they get angry. They just start shouting at children. Some beat the children up. Some some say some words that that really hurt. Or some will start blaming the other spouse in front of that child. Yeah. How can I manage it if I'm this single parent and I have I am faced with this situation and I'm almost spilling out like that? What should I do? Mm. You can go. You can go out for oh, a walk. Okay. You okay. can go to a garden. All right. You can just just go out. Okay. Just just throw around. Okay. You can if you are a music person, you can listen to music. Okay. That can try to calm you down, right. and if you have a trusted person around you that you believe that can listen to you and and, and can help you to go through that season, mm -hmm. you can also share with that person. Wow! So, dear single parents, if you're hurting, if you're going through a a, a, hard, a rough patch, do not let it spill over to your children because they will affect them ne negatively. Some will affect even their destiny or their perception of life, and even their perception of who hurts you, especially if you've made it known to them. So like Pascal just said, there are many ways of handling it. Go out for a walk, do something different, or avoid crying in the presence of those children. Avoid letting out, letting, letting yourself down, breaking down in front of them. I didn't say, we, we, we are not talking here that do not break down. You should avoid it as much as, as, possible. Much as possible. It may just come unconsciously, but try to master and avoid as much as possible. Yes. Yeah. This is a very, this is a very touching and a very important topic because this hurts. We have, we have seen many children who have grown up and they hate some certain things in life. We have seen children who have grown up and they grew up with some low self-esteem because of the kind of home they grew up in. We have seen some children who grew up. They are smart, but just because they used to make some mistakes and they were pouring some pouring insults and things on them, they grew up now to have low self-esteem. Let's try to manage our own hurt as parents. Work on yourself. Every situation is unique. What I do to manage mine may not be what you do to manage yours. Hurts will always be there. People will hurt you. Situations will hurt you. The low and the high moments will always come. But how we manage it is what is important. So dear parents, let us learn to manage it wisely. Manage it not from a selfish point of view. Have in mind that you have some children, you have people that are looking up to you. 
Dear Pascal, I wish to find out what is your last word to the parents today on Shantia's Haven about handling this issue of hurts and not letting it spill over to the children. What I can tell parents is avoid quarreling in front of your children, okay. avoid uh, talking down about the other spouse to the child, okay. and also avoid this cold wall, this cold wall in the house when the children will know that Nadi and mommy are not talking to one another. Okay. Avoid it. And, and even when you, you want to correct your spouse, mind your words when the children Wow, thank you. Even when you want to correct your spouse, mind your words when the children are there. Dear parents, dear guardians, to you, those children look up to you as their world. You are their hero, you are their heroine. So please, make sure that when they look up to you, they'll be better parents tomorrow as well. Let's try to manage our hurts. Let's try to work on it so that it doesn't spill over to our kids matter who the cause is. Thank you so much for watching Chances Haven today. Never forget to leave it better than you meant it. Remember to like, to subscribe, and to share. See you some other time. Bye-bye.